Hey y'all, we're back. Just want to show you, we're right down the road from where we caught that bobcat. And this looks like a real good coyote spot to me. They're going to be running up through those woods, coming out. And we're going to put a set in right here. Probably going to put in a dirt hole or a double dirt hole. It all depends, but this looks like a good spot. We could catch a coyote here. So we're going to make a set. And we're going to show you all how we do that right here. Pretty much right here. What you're going to need, you're going to need a sifter, a hammer. Pretty much. First thing you want to do, you want to dig out your bed. You're using bridging over twos. So we need a pretty big bed. And you're going to need some type of staking device. To show them. Or to hold them down. I use wolf feather staking on all my traps and then we just had a big storm Monday so it's real wet here but I still work with it because I don't know if the truck can't catch it if it's set to get you a pretty deep bed too actually on a hole like this As soon as I make sure our bed is good. Hey y'all, here's our trap. It's a bridge of number two. And right now my buddy's gonna drive in the wolf fang right now. Drive on. Pretty much. We're probably just gonna put in a single dirt hole or Actually, I think I might put in a flat set right here, just for goats. Right now, we're gonna, we're gonna drive that in. We're gonna come over here, get some set back in. Get back in. Yeah, we're gonna make just a flat set. Maybe walk through type of set. That's good. Now, sometimes. Even these wolf fang drivers actually get stuck in the ground. So you gotta wiggle them around. Here we go. I like to make my sets five inches deep because I like them to be step down. I don't know if y'all know who the Leggett's are, but they caught their record fox catch in one year using a hundred traps. It was a thousand two hundred foxes. And if you ask me, that's really good. And they caught that many just by using step downs like I'm making right here. And that's why I like to use step downs. Make sure your dog is towards your back. You never want your dog. You never want your dog, which is this. I don't know if y'all know what a dog is or not. You never want your dog pointing, pointing towards your trap because it can knock the animal's foot out. That's our antifreeze, calcium chloride, and salt. You can buy it at Walmart and 12. 12 pound packages, and that's our, our, our trap cover. I like to use underalls, but I don't have any on hand right now because they're a lot easier mixing. A lot less likely to snap your finger in a trap. And then, I'm not a pro, so I actually have to build my bed around the trap and get it in there real solid because that moves, you will not catch a single thing. That's the most important thing about making this. Okay. 
get your dirt. Sift it over top of your trap. Now I told y'all this is wet dirt. Can't really sift it on there. And then, since we're making a flat set, not a dirt hole, you really want to make sure that everything's flat when you bed, especially. Yeah, that's why it's real hard to work right now. Cause it rained all day yesterday. We're still out here trying to make sense. And we're trapping. The weather will never cooperate with you. Ever. You'll make hundred sets and then it'll rain the very next day all your sets rain out. Just like that. You're not going to catch animals being where people are at. You need to get out in the woods to catch them. I mean, I know there's some people that do catch animals by just, just being around in the area the animals are. But to sufficiently catch animals, you know, catch the woods. I mean, that's the best. That's the best place to be. And then right now, because we're making a camouflage flat set, we're going to make sure that there's no leaves directly over your pan. And then what I use, I use my wolf fang driver. Drive this into the ground. And then wiggle it around right there. Drive it in some more. Wiggle it around some more. And then that's my lower hole right there. You know what you can do? You can set that right there. And it's pretty likely, I mean. The coyote's gonna come up and he's gonna work your set. He's gonna work it from right here. He's gonna put his nose down in that hole. And he's going to come and he's going to work your set. I'm going to use some... Yeah. I'm going to lower bottle spilled. No, I can't seem to grab on any of my lowers. That's not what I'm going to use. Use some GH2 here, Fox Hollow GH2. It's a real skunky lore, works really well for bobcats, coyotes, and foxes. Probably my most efficient reductor. So you want to take out your little good glob on there, just like that. Take it and stick it down in that wolf fang hole you drove in. Just so them coyotes have to stand here to work this. And you see that trap is nine inches back. And they're gonna come up and they're gonna work this. I'm sure that if a coyote comes down this trail, it's gonna stop and it's gonna work this side. Rough it all up a little bit, and then you're all good to go. Pretty much. That's how I make my flat sets for coyotes. So there you go. Bring y'all some.